friends i am dr rahul jain i am working as senior consultant in delhi fortis hospital sharimanabad and i am my own clinic in kamla nagar uh, today i will be uh, talking with you on a very important topic and a very common topic uh, known as hypertension or uh, bp as uh, in in common language i'll be uh, using a mixed language a uh, simple day to day language for everybody to understand uh, what exactly is bp bp kya hota hai uh, uh, and kis mein hota hai uh, very important uh, uh, question bp is a very common disease bahut bahut uh, samanya problem hai almost uh, it is estimated that uh, uh a half of a uh, adult population suffers from high bp what is high bp what is the cut off of high bp 140 by 90 mm of mercury either or or upar ka 140 ya and niche ka 90 se upar uh aane pe hypertension ya high bp ki problem uh, kehti hai uh, uh, mani jati hai uh this is uh, not a single reading usually we must document a persistent or multiple readings of uh, more than 150 and or 90 to call it uh, hypertension as a disease kyun hoti hai aksar hame question pucha jata hai why uh, does a person suffer from hypertension now there are uh, many factors uh, which uh, go in tandem to cause uh, uh, hypertension there the most important is genetics that is uh agar kisi ke family mein run karta hai mummy papa ko hai brother sister ko hai to usko uh, hypertension hone ka high chance ho jata hai uh this is the major factor that uh, a person suffers from bp the other are environmental factors uh the associated factors like uh, smoking to a certain extent stress so on and so forth by and large essential hypertension that is uh, uh blood pressure ki bimari jiska koi anya karan nahi hai anya karan ka matlab hota hai jaise uh, kidney disease ya kuch aur uh, reasons hote hain jiske karan bhi bp high ho sakta hai jo normal high bp ki problem hoti hai uska koi bahut vishesh reason nahi bhi hota but uh anything more than 140 by 90 and persistently high needs to be definitely treated uh that means uska ilaj hame uh uski dawai hame regular leni padegi leni chahiye till such time uh, and it should be continued and uh dawai us hisab se आपका डॉक्टर टाइट्रेट कर देते हैं जब तक आपका बीवी 130 थर्टी एटी से नीचे नहीं रहता क्या होगा इफ वी डोंट ट्रीट दैट बीपी मतलब व्हाट आर द इंप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन अनट्रीटेड बीपी नाउ एन अनट्रीटेड बीपी कैन हैव अ लॉट ऑफ ड्रेडेड कॉम्प्लिकेशंस इन लॉन्ग टर्म मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ विच आर किडनी प्रॉब्लम आई प्रॉब्लम स्ट्रोक हार्ट प्रॉब्लम and these are fairly common especially kidney problems are fairly com- uh, common uh, because of uh, long standing uncontrolled bp stroke fairly common stroke matlab dimag mein nerve block ho jana ya dimag mein khun rik ja- risk jana because of high blood pressure fairly common uh, day in and day out uh, we get uh, patients in our emergency who suffer from uh, this uh, लाइफ चेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम इन फैक्ट आलेस होना एक लाइफ चेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है मोस्ट ऑफ विच आर नॉट गोइंग टू रिकवर फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज सिमिलरली किडनी प्रॉब्लम द डायलिसिस सेंटर्स आर फुल बिकॉज ऑफ पीपल सफरिंग फ्रॉम किडनी फेलियर बिकॉज ऑफ एन अनकंट्रोल बी पी अनफॉर्चुनेटली हाई ब्लड प्रेशर इज ऑफन इग्नोर्ड 
people have a misnomer that uh, they are too young to have BP or they are going through a transient stress. Uh, uh, that is why their BP is high or, uh, or, or, or many reasons. However, it needs to be understood that uh, uh, BP is actually a disease of the young and it is not uh, the disease of the old. So as to say that uh, the peak onset of uh, high BP is uh, 25 to 35 years of age. 25 to 35 years of peak onset is Usually it is, uh, many often it is ignored and later on once the patients get old and they start getting complication is then when uh, they go to a doctor or they are incidentally detected in in routine health checkups or, or for example if they have visited a doctor for a, for another complaint for example an eye checkup and then uh, the doctor or the healthcare worker uh, tells you that your bp is high because in the meantime the bp uh, the body has got adjusted uh, to a state of persistent hypertension so uh, what can we do to to detect it early uh, at the slightest onset of uh, any symptom agar koi bhi aisa hame lakshan hota hai jisme jo common hote hain high bp ke jaise headache or or fatigue especially early morning headache subah ke samay sar dard hona nazar mein badlav undue fatigue thakavat ye sab ek non specific symptoms hote hain high bp ke then we should get our bp check then if it is persistently high then we must consult our physician to get uh, appropriate uh, treatment uh, for it another thing is that uh, over a certain uh, age for example over 35 years of age everybody should uh, periodically undergo a physical exam uh, by his or her physician or a uh, 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 set of investigations uh, say on a yearly basis which is called as the executive health checkup for example or preventive health checkup ye bhi kuch uh, set of investigations hoti hain ये जांचें होती हैं जो जिससे हम पता कर सकते हैं कि बॉडी में कोई बैकग्राउंड में प्रॉब्लम ना चल रही है बीपी यूजुअली मे नॉट कम अलोन इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ मेनी ऑफ अ पार्ट ऑफ व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ से ओबेसिटी स्पेशली बीपी का चांसेस ज्यादा होते हैं दोस इन दोस पीपल हु आर ओबीज एंड इट मे बी अ पार्ट ऑफ हाइपरटेंशन Uh, uh, diabetes, uh, it may be a part of uh, lipidemia, I mean, cholesterol zyada hona. So, ye sab hand in hand chalti hai aur akele, uh, uh, and all of these are to be treated simultaneously if a person uh, suffers from the same. Now, another important uh, aspect of uh, uh, blood pressure is uh, uh, how to monitor it and uh, what to do apart from med- medicines to to uh, to keep your bp in a normal range uh, lifestyle modifications uh, they go in hand in hand in any metabolic disease for example uh, regular exercise as per the guidelines uh, balanced diet uh, repeated bp uh, measurements uh stress reduction and uh, least uh, uh, last but not the least uh, regular medication and regular checkup agar aapko if you have been established to have uh, hypertension and you have been established that you suffer from hypertension as a disease then everything goes uh, uh, simultaneously uh, all the lifestyle modification plus uh, Uh, most importantly appropriate medicine, medicine as as prescribed by your physician should also be uh, regularly taken and uh, a regular follow up is also mandatory for your physician to to look after uh, whether your bp is uh, uh, 
adequately controlled and you do not suffer from any target organ damage because of your uh, uh, hypertension. So uh, uh, going back to uh, the lifestyle modification and dietary modification, the most important uh, uh, dietary modification is cut down on your salt. Uh, for hypertension, the, the salt intake uh, which has been uh, uh, allowed or uh, is is around two to two point three gram uh, per day. Uh, that is to say, uh, cases ko ham maape. Motey taur pe ham apne patients ko ye batate. Whatever salt has been put in in your food is more than enough. Do not take anything. Uh, 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 in terms of super added salt, do away with your uh, table sprinkler of salt. Uh, do not put salt in salads and fruits and try to cut down on high uh, sodium, high salt uh, uh, foods like packaged foods and achars and papars and, and anything which contains uh, uh, high sodium content. So it is, it is, a, it is a good habit to develop to read uh, the nutrition labels, which are uh, nowadays mandatory to be put in any package food. It will give you an estimate of uh, the uh, sodium content in that particular product and uh, what uh, percentage of that particular nutrient uh, it covers uh, for a 24 hour period per helping. For example, chips, packaged chips, or for example, those uh, products which are stored in uh, saturated salt solution, uh, uh, what is called as brine, they are to be totally uh, avoided. Uh, then come the target organ uh, screening. Uh, after uh, the physician, uh, they, he will help you in doing a regular checkups, uh, maybe on, on yearly basis or biannually the routine blood tests like uh, cholesterol, like uh, uh, sugar values, thyroid function tests, and uh, uh, your ultrasound for your uh, kidneys or an echocardiography for your heart, which may be uh, uh, simultaneously getting in involved if the blood pressure is not controlled. So. Uh, it, it becomes extremely important to follow up with the doctor uh, whenever he has been he has uh, instructed you to come. Uh, medicines are the center stay of uh, BP control apart from lifestyle uh, modification, uh, antihypertensive medicines, which BP Those are most important, and 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 those are to be taken and titrated over a period of time till such time uh, the target of the BP is achieved which is uh, more often than not uh, kept as uh, 130 by 80 in most of the patients uh, and uh, one must routinely get it monitored uh, to establish that he is staying within the target range uh, at most of the time. Uh, Similarly, other factors are, be, are to be taken care. Uh, smoking cessation is a must. Uh, stress control is important. And these are small little things and, and regular exercise is important. These are small little, little things which go a, a long way in controlling BP. Uh, we must understand that blood pressure is a progressive disease. Over a period of uh, time, uh, blood pressure progresses. It gets uh, relatively resistant to the ongoing medicines. That is to say, the BP ki goli aaj aap rahe rahe hai, jis aapka control chal raha hai, ho sakta hai, 5 saal baad, wo body ke liye wo weak pad jai, ya utni kargar na rahe, ho sakta hai, wo ab utna BP maintain nahi kar paari, jo aaj wo maintain kar This is the normal adaptive mechanism of the body. So, this is why uh, medicines are to be titrated on a regular interval by your consulting physician and you must go back to him whenever asked for. So, uh, in a nutshell, uh, 
this is uh, what uh, hypertension is. And if we have to say summarize or revise the fact that point number one, BP is a very common disease. Uh, almost 50% of elderly population will suffer from hypertension in some uh, point in their life. Point number two, don't shy away. Don't be in a denial mode. Uh, always better to accept it and uh, get it treated. It forms a part of what are called as silent killers uh, over a period of uh, time if the PP remains uh, uncontrolled, it can irreversibly damage uh, many organs like uh, kidney, eye, and have detrimental effects on uh, major organs like heart and the brain. Uh, lifestyle modifications, as with uh, any other metabolic disease, is also a very key important uh, in, in blood pressure, of which is dietary modification, uh, salt restrictions, smoking cessation, stress control, and regular exercise. Most important are the antihypertensive medicines, which are easily available. They are not expensive and very well tolerated by most of the patients. Uh, we must, uh, you must uh, monitor your BP and go for regular checkups uh, to your physician to ensure that uh, your BP is under control and your, you do not suffer from any target organ damage and that uh, uh, your medicines are being titrated uh, regularly. And last but not the least, must take your medicine regularly as advised by your physician. I think that is all from my side. Uh, thank you very much.